Hi everyone, today we're doing light on TriacMe. So it's talking about a database that is running on 1337 and a username Smokey to help us get started. So let's copy this and put this into our terminal to get things started. And it's asking for a username. So one thing we could do to check if you can do SQL injection is put one colon. As if we return an error, we know we can input SQL queries into this. So we can see it's reading our SQL. Well, our little parentheses and they were getting returned. Uh, some uh, well some errors which shows us that we can enter SQL queries in this and the server will read them so one thing we could do is do a basic HTML SQL bypass so we can do R1 plus 1 so we could try this here and see if this would work so let's just try this quickly let's put this in and we get our first password which is interesting we could try to see if this is the admin's password but it's not we could also try the SSH group but this would not work for SSH so the next thing we could do is just see if we could do any more bypasses on this and well do some union selects and or something like that so one thing we could check next on this is to see what type of well what type we could do on all things payload so it's a reasonable assumption to assume that this is a MySQL injection. Well, a MySQL server, that's the most common server. So we could check some MySQL servers, which is what I did originally. So we've done that and we can and we see that these work, these SQL injections. And we get something coming out. So another thing we can check is do some union selects. So let's just copy this. Well, let's copy the second one and see, see if it will return anything. And when we paste it in, it says, for some strange reason, I can't explain, but we cannot enter these symbols. And another thing we can check is if we were able to enter these letters, and, can, and it says that we aren't able to enter these. So there's some filtering going on as well. So one thing we can do as, a, as an easy bypass for these is just type in union, but with different capitalization. So let's just do union select. But let's keep the first letters cut per case so it still recognizes it as an SQL query. But let's just change some things. And it's also talking about we're not able to do double space, which may throw us some issues. So, one thing we could do is just press there. Well, we could press that and that does not work at all. And also, because I've got that with Smokey, which is something we need to add in. As you see, it's reading this as it's, it thinks it's a username. So, let's just copy this. And put this in and hopefully it'll work so we were able to bypass some of the filtering right here as we could see that it, that we were able to get rid of this word in here so we see unrecognized token so we can see that this won't work because what this is here this hash is a comment so it'll comment the rest of the sql in the server that is trying to limit us so another thing we could do is just try a single well parentheses and we can see we have something here. It says select left or right of the union does not have the same number of colons. So what we could do now is just do one and see what would happen. And we get a none, which shows us that there is only one column. This is useful as we wanna select some other things. Well, we wanna select data from other tables in a database as we probably don't have access to that much in the table that we're in. So one thing we can do, we can copy this here. So one thing we'll need to change is the number of tables we're going to select. So let's do union select. And what this is, this parentheses is doing here, it's commenting out the SQL query. So this is going to give us a username. We're finishing this statement and we're entering our own statement here. So we put one and that's the number of well, columns that we can select. As if we do try to select more than one column, we'll get an error saying that it doesn't match. And that won't let us pull any data from the other SQL table. So let's put a little call in here. Let's just copy the rest of this. I'll actually use this one here. This one seems a lot easier and it looks like it'll work as well. So let's just copy this one here and grab it. And one thing we need to do is put the single parentheses at the end as it won't comment this out. As we start to comment here and it's, we're not ending it. And we can see here there is no such table 
as information schema. This is one of the default tables in a MySQL database. So one thing this could tell us is that this is not a MySQL database. And one thing that could back this up is his light. So this could be given as a hint that this may be an SQL light database, not a MySQL database, which has a slightly different syntax. So we can click here on all things payload and go to SQL light injection MD. So one of the things we can check straight away is the version of this version of MySQL. So let's just copy our code from here. Well, our query and let's just modify it. Let's get rid of this here and let's just put SQL SQLite version. Let's put our single parentheses at the end. And we can see the version we have under password field. So we can see we're getting three point. Well, we're pretty much getting this version here. So one thing we can do is since this is a three point, well, 3.31.1, we can use this query here to get tables from the SQL master. So let's just copy this again, this part, this part of the query here, and let's just change this from SQL, from SQL master. So let's do that. Let's put that in and let's put add a parentheses at the end. So we get a table that's called admin, admin table, which is pretty useful. So one thing we could do now, since we got an admin table, we can try to pull data from this admin table. So maybe we can change this to username from admin table. Well, SQLite master. If this doesn't work, we could just say from the SQL table, just change the SQL master to admin table. And we see we have no column. So one thing we could do is change this to admin table and see if we were able to pull data from this table. So we get our first flag which is the try hack me admins username which is here. So let's put that in. That's the first one ticked off. So let's replace username with password. As you can see this is an integer. This is the text. So let's put in from from admin table let's change that here and let's put in and we get the second well we get the last flag which is the try hack me flag so let's put that in that flag is done so one thing we can do is use the where statement so let's just do one more query before we try get the last flag so let's change to id as we want to see what id this user has probably be one since it's an admin since they normally have the first user created and we can see it's it's we have the ID of one so one thing we could do is do password again this bit took me a while to figure out as I was getting confused if there was a secret hidden table but turns out it's just something basic like doing where ID equals one the weird bit here is you just have to do it like that I don't know why just took me a while and we can see we got the password for the admin account. So let's just copy that in. 